Hello, this is Dr. Fu Barson. I'm not a real doctor and I'm not a real Barson, but I have an interesting little exploration here. This is Mystery Guitar Man. I'm sure you've seen him on YouTube. He's a creative genius that puts together uh, multimedia pieces that you really use a l numerous range of, of tools, and I respect the way he uses all the resources that are available to him. And one of the resources that's available to him is YouTube annotations, and he decided to start putting hidden annotations in his videos, and it's sort of like a scavenger hunt where you have to sit there and watch two minutes and seven seconds of video and mouse over everything and hope that you can find it. You know, you can maybe look at the interesting things and see if you can find them. But somewhere in this video, I happen to know that Magic Glasses is one of the videos that has a hidden annotation. So instead of doing it the hard way, which is what our slaves, the computers, should do, uh, we'll do it the easy way. We'll let the, we'll let the computer do all the grunt work and we'll sit back and just reap, reap the uh, delicious benefits. So what we know is that when you go to youtube.com slash watch v to work couple underscore w, somehow YouTube sends to your computer the annotation data. It's somewhere in there. Maybe it's hidden in the video. We don't know. A logical place to start is to just view source. You can also hit control u. Now, this stuff looks promising, but I didn't find it in there. You know, you go down to the the embed tag and you find a lot of data, but what this big chunk is, it turns out, is it's the alternate resolutions, the URLs that you can go to to get the different video quality. And there's some other stuff in here, like the end of the video when you get all the recommendations, that's embedded in here. But annotations, you will find there's two, two places in this whole this whole document that mentioned it. There's this one in the JavaScript and there's this one up here in the embed tag that we're looking at. Uh, but it's just youtube.com slash annotations and I thought well let's look at that. That's URL encoded for slash. But we get a bad request. So this video is sending something in addition to youtube.com slash annotations. It's sending some more data and we need to find out what that is. Now Firefox used to have a plugin that would uh, would allow you to see the HTTP request headers and I googled for that to see if Chrome had something like that and it does one better. It has one net hyphen internals so Chrome colon net internals it already has one built in and as soon as you go to it it's recording already you can go to capture and see that it passively captured 2218 packets, but we needed to capture the stream that happens from this video. So you reload. I'll try to catch it before it starts talking too much. There you go. Two and a half thousand. So we need to look at it. And you go to dump data. If you leave this blank, it complains, so you just ASDF it. Download it, show in folder. Now it's got this big MD5 sum looking name, but you just put a dot text on it so that Notepad knows to open it up. And you see all this nice little JavaScript data. There's my ASDF I put in, in case you're wondering where it went. So you search it for annotations, and you see here, sure enough, oops, sorry, youtube.com slash annotations, and then here's the extra data, and there's our Tavor underscore W. So we know it's, this is the video. And close that out. Close that out. Let's go to that and see what happens. There is a lovely XML formatted data. And even if you don't know XML too well, it's pretty easy just to read this. You see annotations. Within that is a height, a time, what second it occurs at, width, and X and Y, which is the uh, the top left corner of the rectangle because this is a rectangle type and um, you can see the action when you click on it it will open a URL for subscribe so from three seconds all the way till the end of the video at this location 
there is a subscribe link. It's pretty simple. But what we're looking for is the secret one. What you could do is go through all these these links in this document and just click on them and you know see see what they do. But this one gives it away because of right here. There's this annotation. It says a text of secret. But when you read it, it says the time is never. The x coordinate is negative something. Y negative something. It's just meaningless. It's off in outer space. But if you read the trigger, it says condition state is rollover in this reference, this annotation 588317. So if you look throughout the rest of the file, you can find that same reference there, which is this annotation. So when you mouse over this one, this annotation, uh, actually, I think when you mouse over this one, this annotation appears. So you can look at the data here. Time is 9 seconds to 11 seconds, and the x is 37, the y is 29. So it's kind of in the middle of the screen. So let's go to let's go to 10 seconds, right in the middle, if I can. There you go. And in the middle of the screen is a secret annotation. We found it. And you can see it's LWM. And if you look here, you can just see the link. So you don't even have to go back to the video if you don't want to. You can just go to that directly and find the hidden video. So it's really that simple. Um, I took you on a little detour showing you the, the source of this file just because it's kind of the whole process of finding it out. But the bottom line is you just take the URLs and there's one in the description so you can copy and paste it easily. And then you put in the video ID and it will show you all of the annotations for that video. So, sorry to spoil the Mystery Guitar Man game. I'm sure he'll come up with something else clever for his fans to do. But, uh, as you can see, he's very capable of tedium. He created a video out of Rubik's Cube animations. But, uh, for us, we will we'll sit back and enjoy and, and cheat to find the hidden annotations when we need to. So, anyway, have fun, and as always, give God the glory.